What is a block ID? In today's tutorial, we're gonna talk about what a block ID is, why you've probably heard about it when building Squarespace websites. How do you find a block ID for each individual block that you add onto your Squarespace website? And how can you use it to customize a plugin so the CSS only applies to that one block? We're gonna go over all of that in this tutorial right now. Okay, so let's just start off with what is a block ID? Well, your Squarespace website is built on this idea of blocks, and that's what, if you hit this insertion point, all of these are blocks. Each one of these is an individual block. And as we add them onto our Squarespace website, Squarespace gives each one of these blocks a unique identifier that is associated with that block, and that's what we call a block ID. I'm gonna delete that block. And you can find this block ID by jumping into the code, looking at the HTML of your website, and finding the ID equals attribute on the HTML element. So let's jump into how we do that. So I'm gonna hit done and save on my page and this, then expand it wide. So there we go. I'm going to right click to pull up our inspector tab. So right click, go down to this word inspect. I'm in the Google Chrome tab. Um, and so, or browser. So if you're not using that, it might look a little different for, for you, but the general idea is about the same. So I'm gonna hit inspect here. And then here is all of the code that makes up our web page right here. So this is the HTML up top here, and this is a bunch of CSS down here, but we're looking at the HTML right now. So I want to find the block ID of this summary block that I've added, right? So I'm gonna hit my selection tool right here, which is this little cursor over a box. Hit that, it's highlighted. And now I can hover over anything on my website and it'll highlight, highlight the little element. So what I'm looking for is the block ID of the summary block. So I'm just gonna click anywhere on the summary block right there. And it's gonna pull up the HTML for the specific thing that I clicked. For me, it's that image right there. Next, I want to scroll up in my HTML until I find an ID. So here's one, just right, really, really quick. Uh, ID equals this UE and then a long string of numbers. We want to make sure this ID starts with the word block. And if it doesn't, then that ID, we don't wanna use it because this is gonna change out every single time you refresh the page and it's not gonna be helpful. So this won't work. So I'm gonna keep scrolling up until I find another ID. There we go, but it doesn't start with the word block. So let's keep moving up, let's keep moving up. Again, another ID doesn't start with the word block. Same thing, not the word block, keep moving up, here we go. ID equals, and it starts with the word block. And you can see I'm on the right one because as I hover over this, the entire element is selected right there. And that green is our padding. That's the 17 pixel padding that Squarespace gives to all blocks. And so this is what we're looking for. We're looking for this value in between the quotes right there. I can double click on it, uh, sometimes that works, and then copy. And so there we go. So now we have this unique identifier just for this one block. So I'm gonna exit out of the, the web inspector there, minimize this. Let's go over to our design custom CSS area. Let's make a bunch of space. <clears throat> I can select that ID that I just found by starting with a hashtag. And then I just, I'm just gonna paste in what I have. So this is the selector, the CSS selector for this one specific box. Then if I add my opening and closing curly brackets to denote a CSS rule with this selector right here, I can apply properties like background, green, or something. And it's only going to be applied to that one block. So pretty cool. So that's how we make, that's how we find a specific selector within Squarespace. Now, let's jump into how we would use this if we are getting a plugin from a third party. So if we found a plugin we really liked, how would we use this block ID to make that plugin just work for that one, for in our case, summary block right here. So I'm gonna delete this right here. And there's this plugin on Ghost. I don't know if you've used Ghost plugins before. It's fantastic if you're a Squarespace designer, developer, or even just 
someone that's building a website for yourself, there is a bunch of beautiful plugins on Square or on Ghost plugins uh, for Squarespace. So you should check it out. But this is the one I'm going to be using. Damn beautiful summary block. Down here at the bottom, we have all of this CSS code. So I'm going to just copy this. It's great. It's just plug and play. You go again back into your custom CSS area and then paste it in. And doodoo, it'll reformat. That looks awesome, right? And it does. But the problem is I don't want it to apply to this summary block that I have a little further down on the page. And also this would apply if you have summary blocks anywhere else on your entire website. It, this, these styles would apply to that block. So I just want these styles to apply just to this one block. Well, from what we just learned, we can use the block ID of this one summary block and apply it to our CSS code so it only works there. So I'm going to hit save and then let's open up our expand our website, right click, inspect, grab our selection tool, hover over what we want right there over anywhere over the block that we want and then start scrolling up until we find something with a block ID. And notice as I'm hovering over these elements, none of these Here's another little trick. None of these on my page is selecting the entire summary block. It's just these individual items within the summary block. So I already sort of know that that's not going to work. So I'm going to scroll up. Okay, now we're hovering over the whole thing. Here's an ID, but it doesn't start with the word block. Keep moving up, and boom, there we go. And I notice I have that green padding around, so that's just sort of double check, make sure. So I'm going to right click, copy, exit out, minimize. And then we're going to add this, put a hashtag, and then paste it in. And this should be right in front of our code right here. But it's not working. And why isn't this working? This isn't working because this is just a, an additional CSS trick you need to know. That uh, Not really a trick. It's just CSS syntax and rules. So we have these two all three of these are actually called selectors, and we're applying these styles to this selection. So if you have a space between these selectors, like we do here and here, that means it's a descendant. So that means we're, we're finding the descendant. So we start off with this selector, and then look at any of the descendants of this selector and look for this class. And none of those are there. So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to expand this, right click, inspect. Let's get back into the code, grab my selector, hover over. Here is the class with the ID, starts with the word block. So if we look at our classes of this element, you notice we have this summary v2 block, or was I think it's SQS, Squarespace, block dash summary dash v2. See, these two are on the exact same element, right? And so, this descendant, the space, won't work because it's not a descendant. This class right here, classes are denoted by a period. This class is not a descendant. It's on the same element. And if they're on the same element, we don't have a space. So I'm going to delete that space. And you notice it changes. And here we do have a space between our, our element with a class of SQS block summary v2 right here. And then the element within it which is this summary item. And then as I bump, open up all of these little, uh, these little arrows, pop them down, you'll see we have a class with a summary item. So this is a descendant. This is a descendant element of, or a child element of this larger parent element. So that's why we have a space there. So just know that as you're adding in this block ID, you might have a space sometimes if the other selectors here are a descendant, and you might not have a space if they're on the same if this first one is on the same element. So now I'm just going to copy this, apply it to our other two pieces of code right here without the space right there. Everything's looking good there. As I scroll down, none of this is affected. So there we go. That's how that is what a block ID is. This is how you apply it just to one plugin that you you found somewhere else on the internet. Um, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Be sure to do all the YouTube stuff, like and subscribe, and check out my website, all that stuff. All right. Hope you enjoy. Take it easy.